Uh, nice to see you here. Anything you can tell me about the air show and you want to share? I'm not really don't have yeah, notes no. for an interview or anything, but it's really nice that I was able to talk to you. Absolutely. Well, we're really excited to be here. Thank you, obviously, to uh, JFTV and Los Alamitos for hosting this, uh, playing a critical part of this awesome event. Uh, we're just um, looking forward to actually getting off the ground here in 2021. Uh, we're, lo we're looking optimistic for October with the vaccines rolling out. And uh, we're full, full speed ahead on planning. Obviously, the Blue Angels are joining us just over my shoulder for their winter visit here. Um, and we're looking forward to hosting the Blue Angels in 2021, October 1, 2, 3, and their brand new Super Hornets. will be one of the first shows in the country to receive a performance by the Blue Angels in their new aircraft, which uh, I can't tell you how exciting that is. So we got a busy, busy show in store uh, with even more performers than ever before. Well, I can tell you, I'm very much looking forward to it. I know everybody. There's there's maybe six six hundred and fifty people on our on our group, and I know that there's be a lot of excitement for the show. We have our fingers crossed, and and we're thinking positively that things are going to happen. Uh, so we wish you all the best. Would you mind going through a few of the different uh, aircraft that are going to be in the show? Sure, yeah, happy to. So yeah. uh, we obviously have the Blue Angels flying the new F-18 uh, F-A-18 Super Hornets, 30% larger and 30% more power. Uh, we've got the uh, Canadian uh, Snowbirds coming again in their uh, Tudor jets. Obviously, they're a crowd favorite. They fly 10 jets in formation. We've got the F-35 coming from the Air Force, um, which is obviously an incredible uh, show. We This year, for the first time, um, we're one of only two shows in this year uh, that I know of, actually, and since I've been in the air show business, to receive uh, a demo from the, uh, the Marines uh, V-22. So we'll have an Osprey here, which will be really Very cool. Very good. Uh, we'll also have um, lots of other amazing civilian performers uh, and uh, you know additional things to be announced. but. Uh, the, the, what you will most likely have, um, you know, you'll see the likes of Mike Wiskus and his uh, Lucas Oil biplane, and uh, we'll have Greg Collier and his uh, classic Ace Maker T33. This year, we're looking to do instead of one uh, T33, we hope to have at least two T33s flying in formation. So, Great. basically, taking everything we've done in the past and really amplifying it up for 2021. We've got two years of pent up air show frustration, oh, yeah. and we're we're ready to go. Well, that's great. You know, last year there was a meet and greet here at the Los Alamitos Army Airfield, and I think that went over very well. Uh, do you know, are you planning anything like that? Any more involvement just here on the base? Since it's, you know, the air show's not based here and people can't really see the planes on the ground or anything. Yes. It makes it a different air show, although it is an entirely awesome air show. Uh, I just love it. But can you tell me about any idea? I know with COVID it's maybe different too. Sure. It's a great you, question. Um, our vision is to bring a, a commander's open house as part of the air show, so we would make it open to the public and allow people to come view with the aircraft. That was our plan for 2020. Unfortunately, obviously, it got canceled, uh, pending uh, you know how things go in terms of the health guidelines uh, for for COVID-19. Um, our plan would be to bring that back for 2021. So that would be the Thursday prior to the air show. So it'd be uh, an okay. afternoon evening event here. The base would be open to the public. You'd be able to come out, meet the teams. Uh, we'll have some festivities, maybe some entertainment, as well as obviously uh, getting to um, um, you know get see, get autographs and, and see the aircraft up close. So that's something we're working on. Um, it's something that is important to the base and it's important to us because obviously, you know, here we are at JFTV. It's a, a really a, a crown jewel of Southern California that a lot, a lot of people know is here, um, and they don't know necessarily what uh, you know what the, the the wonderful men and women who are here are doing. Uh, you know, to protect our nation, obviously, and and to allow us to do uh, fun things like putting on an air show in Huntington Beach. So uh, the relationship we have here with the base is great, and we really want to bring the public out here so they can uh, appreciate uh, this uh, awesome asset that we all enjoy. Well, I love your ideas. It sounds like uh, quite expanding quite a bit what the presence on base here of the air show has been in the past. I know the, the community here, the local community right around the base is very interested and there's a lot of interest in the planes coming and going. So I really like the idea and I'll share that with all the people on our site and, and try and get some people out here. I don't think that'll, that'll be a problem. Awesome. Uh, I have one uh, maybe request for you. Uh, last year when planes came in after the air show, more than any other year before they did flyovers and different things in the past they generally just kind of come in and land i don't know if that was on purpose or if they you know it almost seemed like they were having a competition each team would come in and do some sort of really nice maneuver and, and back in 2019 that seemed relatively new so my request is when you talk to these teams if you could throw it out there we would love to see any sort of uh, flyovers when they come in and the, you know it's not to take away from people going down to the beach to see things but it's sure. just usually one flyover <laughs> one loop or one something crazy that really kind of gets to the people that are going to that are local 
Absolutely. And maybe yeah, they can't make see, it to the air show. You can or, see you know. under my mask, you can see a big smile, right? Because I'm out at the beach, so I don't unfortunately oftentimes get to see what happens here. But, but uh, you know, I think as, as, as the performers build more familiarity with our site and with the neighbors and the neighborhood, I think, uh, you know, they feel at home here. And uh, those are the types of things that they like to do. Uh, to sort of say thank you, I think, to the local community. So we'll definitely put that out there that uh, we want them to have a good time. Uh, coming to Huntington Beach and coming to Los Alamitos is um, as much about family and, and them enjoying themselves that it is performing for the public, right? right. Uh, we really want them to feel at home here. We want this to be a relaxing site for them. Um, and you know, these are our, our, our finest, right? The men and women who are out there protecting us every day. And so we want to really um, make sure they feel at home. And I think, you know, part of that celebration here over the overhead at the airfield is, is probably them saying, hey, we, we, we really enjoy being here. Well, I appreciate everything. One, one final thing, I, you know, I could talk to you for a while, but just one final thing is um, in memory of Jen Casey uh, from the Snowbirds, who many yeah. of our people on our site, you know, knew her and talked to her. I talked to her for a few, even just for a few minutes when she Absolutely. was here in 2019 before she was tragically killed in the plane crash. Uh, is there going to be anything to in her memory or even just something right now? I, I'm just saying something to be in her memory yeah, now no, because she was such a, it's a outstanding person. She Jen was really was awesome. One of the finest aviators that I've ever met. I mean, she was such a kind person. Um, she always made you feel like you were the most important person um, in, in the room. And uh, we were all just kind of very sad, saddened by what happened. Um, we're super excited to have the Snowbirds back, um, but obviously there'll be a, a hole in the place where Jen uh, used to be. So uh, we are going to plan something, um, whether that'll be public or whether that'll be more private with the team sort of remains to be determined. But uh, Jen's definitely in our thoughts and in our prayers. and. Um, I appreciate you asking that question because uh, I think maybe that might be a detail that's lost on a lot of folks, but it's certainly not lost on us, and you can well, expect to hear more about that. Well, I just must say, just in the maybe two minutes I talked to her, I was just super impressed with her, with her yeah. personality, with her smile. Every time I saw her, she had that brilliant she smile, awesome. and she was so enthusiastic and just... She was really a remarkable person, so that really hit home to me just for meeting her for two minutes. And a lot of the photographers I know knew her pretty well, and media and all got to know her pretty well. Absolutely. So that was tragic, and that's all I'll say about that. But I wanted to say something in her memory. Yeah. So, so I appreciate you taking the time to awesome. talk to me, Kevin. This was an unexpected pleasure. Uh, maybe you'll get a chance to see it on the Los Alamitos Army Airfield and, page, uh, and you know, not a lot of people watching right now, but there will be if people watch the reruns and. Stay think, tuned uh, you know, to Pacific Air Show on our Facebook for more updates and PacificAirShow.com. You can go there and sign up for insider updates uh, like today's flyover. Um, and we'll, we try to push out as much information as we can proactively about the event. So that's a good source for information. And obviously, uh, appreciate you uh, uh, making the time to come visit with us today. Well, no, no problem on that. I'm happy to help in any way possible uh, promoting your air show. So the best of luck to you. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Kevin. All right. All right take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Kevin.